Hello and welcome to the Video Game Attic. It is the Halloween season, so what does that mean? Spooky games. And I'm going to show you how to play one of the spookiest games that ever existed on the uh, DOS platform. It's pretty creepy, and there's a lot of cool puzzle games in it. It's called The Seventh Guest, and we're going to get it running in Windows 7, and I'm sure it'll work for Windows 10, too. Um, but we're going to use a program called DOSBox to do this with. So that's our first step. We're going to download DOSBox. So open up your web browser and go to DOSBox.com. And you're going to click on Downloads, of course, and we're going to select Windows. So now it downloaded here in Chrome. You see this down here? So what I'm going to do is going to I'm going to go ahead and click open. And that will bring you up to the DOSBox installer. And what you do is hit next and just keep hitting next and click install. So once that's done, you close it and you close out of your browser cuz you're not going to need the web browser anymore. All right. So now next thing you want to do is on your hard drive, your C drive here we are going to right click and create a new folder called T7G for the seventh guest and we're going to open that up. All right, now that you have the seventh guest folder created and it's empty of course, we're going to create another folder called disk1. And I'm going to put the seventh guest disk in the drive. Now that that's in the drive, we want to go to the CD drive, and you're going to highlight these, drag them over to disk 1, and it says copy to disk 1. So go ahead and let that happen. Now if you go into the disk 1 folder, you should see the same contents as you do in the um, CD-ROM drive. And uh, the reason we're doing this is so that you don't have to use the CD to run the game every time. It, all you're doing is running the entire game off of the hard drive. I'm going to close out of my CD drive. And I have the T7G folder still open. We're going to keep that open. Um, the next thing we need to do is put the 7th guest install disk, which is disk 2, in the CD drive right now. And that's, that's just preparing for right now. Now, we're going to go into the Start menu, and under DOS box here, you're going to see Options. Click on the Options folder, and then click DOS box, whatever version you have, Options. And it's going to bring a, a text file up. Um, now, I maximized this so you can see it better. But what we're going to do is, in this file, you're going to scroll down to CPU, and you're going to see uh, cycles equals 3000 right here. Now you're going to change that to cycles equals 10351, which is what I found was most optimal for this game. And I'm going to save this file, and then exit. So now that's set. Now we have the right CPU cycles. You could also, in that option file, specify if you want it, the game to open in full screen or not. But I wouldn't do it in that specific file because you might want to try to run all other DOSBox games so that you don't want full screen. So I wouldn't put that there. Plus it gives you the option to create two different shortcuts, one for windowed and one for full screen, which I'll probably show you how to do that too. All right, so the next step here is to run DOSBox itself. And now what we are going to do is actually install the game. That's why we have disk two in the drive. So the first thing you want to type in DOSBox is mount space C colon space C colon backslash T7G backslash press enter. Now that created a C drive for us for DOS. Now the next thing you want to do is mount your CD-ROM drive into the DOS box. And the way to do that is go mount D colon, which is our CD 
drive for DOS, and then whatever the drive letter your CD drive is, mine is D, but whatever drive letter yours is, you type that in here, D colon backslash. Then space dash T space CD ROM, and I'm going to press enter. Now it'll see, see where it says MCD, MSCD EX is installed, drive D is mounted as CD ROM. That's what you want to see. So now we're going to type in D colon, which takes us to the CD-ROM drive. I'm going to type DIR just to show you what's in there. You don't have to type that, but I'm just showing you what's the, what the contents are of the disk one. So t just type in install while you're on the D, D drive now. Press enter, and there's the seventh guest installer. Okay, so I'm going to highlight install and press enter and then it'll tell you oh you know this program will copy your files yeah press any key okay fine now it's available drive letters now are C and Z of course you want to choose the C drive and now the directory you want to leave that as is and print it, press enter and then you basically can press through these it's doing test and everything you can just press any key th through those this Part where you select the video mode um, just leave it as the recommended and right here accept those settings as well it copies your file and to make sure that the game was installed when you get to this screen type dir and you should see a bunch of files okay that's good that's where we want it okay so exit out and now that we have the seventh guest installed right here, we are going to right click and click on a new text document. Now, if yours doesn't have .txt extension at the end here, then you will need to go into your organize folder and search options and go to view and make sure hide extensions for known file types is unchecked. Okay, now that we can see what the file name is, we're going to type in, we're going to change the file name completely, including the extension, which is the .txt at the end. We're going to type in t7gwin.bat. This chain, and when you get this, you're going to want to hit yes, because you're changing the file extension. That's fine. Now it created this different kind of file called a batch file. This is what we're going to use to mount our CD-ROM drives and do everything we need to do before the game runs. Okay, so we are going to edit this. All right, first line I type is at echo off. That usually takes a lot of text that we don't want to see on the screen off. Um, now, the next step is we're going to type in mount d colon to c colon backslash t7g which is our directory for the seventh guest disk one and then we're going to type space dash t cd rom now what this does is this mounts your seventh guest disk one to the cd rom drive right off the bat so now we're going to type in C colon, which is going to change our drive letter to the C drive. We want to change it, the directory, which is CD, C colon backslash, ID backslash, T7G backslash. All right, there, that's what you want to put there. And the next line is going to be T7G.bat. And that should be all this file is. And we're going to save that file and exit out. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the DOS box shortcut. But I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click copy. Then click once on the desktop and I'm going to right click on the desktop and hit paste. This creates another one that's identical. But this identical shortcut, I'm going to rename it to the seventh guest. All right. 
Uh, moved my other, it resorted and moved my other DOS box icon up here. But all right, now what you're going to do here is you're going to right click on it and go to properties. All right, here's where we can take our options and put them into the command line. So under target, you see all this stuff in here, just leave that there. At the end of this, you're going to type in quote C colon backslash T7G backslash T7G win dot bat quote next the next option we're going to put in is the no console option so you don't see the DOS box console in the background so I'm going to say dash no console space and then the next line I'm going to put in the next option I'm putting in is dash exit so that when the seventh guest game is done it's going to close out a doc, DOS box and everything so exit and hit apply all right, now when we run this, this should run the game. So I'm going to run it. There's DOSBox. And there is the seventh game. The seventh game. The seventh guest, I mean. So it says, welcome to my house and all that. And to show you this works, I already have save files for this. So I'm kind of showing you how to back up your save files for this game as well on this so I'm gonna exit now when I exit out of here it should um, exit DOS box completely so now we have all of this we can close out of that the game runs all right so now that the game runs I'm gonna show you how to back up and restore your save files um, if you had this copied from an old computer, um, you should be able to go into your ID folder under the seventh guest and you'll see a save.z file, which is not in here yet because we didn't save any games yet. And then you'll see a save dot whatever slot you used in your game. So I have a save.z and a save.1. Those are the files you want to back up and restore. So I'm going to highlight these and I'm going to copy these back into the seventh guest directory. Copy them. And it says save, copy and replace the save Z file. So it must be there. I'm just not seeing it. Um, so yeah, you want to copy, replace. And now I have a save one file and a save Z file that I backed up from before. Now I'm going to close out or just minimize it in case we need that folder again. Now I'm going to run the seventh guest again. Back for more. Now I said back for more, not <laughs> welcome to my house. So that means it worked. So I'm going to click on the screen and click load. And there's my VGA account, or save file. Um, and you see that the game runs pretty decent. Um, but I'm going to tell you now, the game looks a lot better full screen. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a shortcut that allows full screen. So you'll have you can have two options. So I'm going to create two options here. So I'm going to go to the seventh guest. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste a new shortcut for the seventh guest. So it says the seventh guest copy now. All right, I'm going to rename this to the seventh guest and then in parentheses full screen. All right, now right click on this and go to properties. And the only thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to the end of this line where the exit line is. I'm going to hit space and type in dash full screen. Apply it and run it. And it makes it's not liking <laughs> my video capture is not liking 
the full screen option, so that's why it looks funky right now, but um, it, it will in fact run full screen. Now you noticed it stuttered a little bit. Well, that was because I'm recording right now. I'm recording my own desktop, so that's why it's having hiccups. So hopefully it won't do that for you. It shouldn't. Um, but that is how to get the seventh guest to run on your computer. So feel free to leave any comments, um, questions in the comment section. That's fine. I'll, I'll take a look at them if you have questions. And uh, you guys have a good Halloween.